For nearly half a century, two lonely travelers, Voyager 1 and 2, have journeyed into the dark, humanity's farthest emissaries. At the edge of our solar system, they found a turbulent, mysterious boundary, far from gentle. The silence beyond the veil isn't empty, it's alive with mystery, and it's only the beginning. The Voyager missions were born from a rare celestial alignment in the late 1970s, when the giant outer planets lined up for a once in 176 years opportunity. This allowed a single spacecraft to use gravity assist to visit multiple planets. The Grand Tour. NASA seized the moment launching Voyager 2 on August 20, 1977, and Voyager 1 on September 5th. Voyager 1 visited Jupiter and Saturn. Voyager 2 visited all four giants. These missions revolutionized planetary science, revealing volcanic moons, subsurface oceans, and the only close-up images of Neptune. After their planetary encounters, the Voyagers embarked on their interstellar mission to reach the edge of the sun's influence, the heliopause. The heliopause is where the solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium, the gas and dust that fills the galaxy. The Voyagers became our first scouts in the galactic wilderness. As of September 2025, Voyager 1 is over 24 billion kilometers from Earth, Voyager 2 over 20 billion. Their signals take more than 22 hours to reach us. Their power sources are fading, and soon, they will fall silent forever. But before they do, they've sent back data that has forced us to rethink the edge of our solar system. The Voyager's endurance and discoveries have changed our view of the cosmos. They are the most distant human-made objects, carrying our story into the unknown. Their legacy is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity, and their journey continues, even as their voices fade. Each Voyager carries a golden phonograph record, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. Officially titled The Sounds of Earth, these records are a greeting to any extraterrestrial civilization that might find them. Conceived by Carl Sagan's committee, the record is a snapshot of our world, a testament to who we are. It includes 115 images, our planet, science, animals, and people. There are natural sounds, wind, rain, surf, birds, whales, a symphony of Earth's vibrant life. Spoken greetings in 55 languages from ancient Sumerian to modern Mandarin and music from Bach to Chuck Berry showcase humanity's diversity. The cover is etched with instructions and a map to our sun, using pulsars as cosmic signposts. Designed to last a billion years, the record is a timeless artifact, our legacy, drifting through the stars. It's a message of hope, a symbol of our desire to connect. The golden record is humanity's greeting to the universe. It carries our art, our science, and our dreams. Long after we are gone, it will still be traveling. It is our story, cast into the infinite, and it waits, patiently, for someone to listen. For years, the Voyagers flew toward an invisible boundary, the heliopause, the edge of the sun's magnetic bubble. Inside, we're shielded from most of the galaxy's cosmic rays. The solar wind creates this protective cocoon, but where does it end? Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause on August 25, 2012, a historic moment, humanity's first step into interstellar space. Its instruments detected a sharp drop in solar particles and a dramatic rise in galactic cosmic rays. The transition was abrupt, not gentle, a sudden passage from sheltered harbor to stormy sea. Voyager 2 crossed six years later, confirming the boundary is not a perfect sphere but a dynamic, irregular shape. Voyager 2's plasma instrument measured the interstellar plasma directly giving us a clearer picture. The heliopause was closer than expected, Voyager 1 at 121 AU, Voyager 2 at 119 AU. This suggests the heliosphere is more compact, squeezed by the interstellar medium. The bubble that protects us is under more pressure than we thought. The edge of our solar system is not empty, it's a turbulent frontier. The Voyager's crossing revealed a hazardous, dynamic boundary. Our cosmic neighborhood is stranger and more complex than we imagined. The heliopause is not the end, it's the beginning of a new mystery, and we've only just crossed the threshold. As the Voyagers entered interstellar space, their instruments began to listen. They measured magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and plasma, the most common state of matter in the universe. Scientists expected a quiet, thin interstellar plasma, a steady, low-level hum. Instead, Voyager detected a persistent, low-frequency murmur a constant vibration in the interstellar gas. The density required to produce this hum was higher than predicted. The interstellar medium was not a placid void but a dynamic place filled with waves and surprising material. Periodically Voyager detected dramatic bursts of plasma waves, triggered by shock waves from our sun. 
these solar events traveled to the heliopause and beyond, making the interstellar plasma ring like a bell. Each measurement confirmed, the interstellar medium was denser than anticipated. This has profound implications. A denser medium means more material between the stars, affecting star formation and galactic evolution. It also means our heliosphere is being squeezed harder than we knew. The quiet void we imagined is actually a buzzing, vibrant place. The data paints a picture of a far more active and complex environment just outside our home. The universe is not silent, it hums with energy. Voyager's discoveries have rewritten our understanding of interstellar space. The edge of our solar system is alive with unexpected phenomena, and the story is still unfolding. One of the most alarming discoveries came from the hydrogen wall, a region just outside the heliopause where interstellar hydrogen piles up. Voyager's direct measurements revealed this wall was far more extreme than predicted. The temperature in this region was much higher than expected, up to 50,000 degrees Celsius. This wall of fire is a metaphor for a region of superheated plasma, a thermal barrier at the edge of our solar system. Any future probe or even a crewed starship would have to pass through this hazardous frontier. The high-energy particles could damage spacecraft, stripping away hulls and frying electronics. Our understanding is still incomplete, but the data paints a picture of a fiery gate separating us from the galaxy. Some scientists debate the severity, but Voyager detected something unexpected and extreme. The edge of our solar system is not welcoming, it's turbulent and dangerous. The hydrogen wall is a powerful reminder of how little we know about our cosmic neighborhood. The boundary is not just a line, it's a challenge, and it's only the beginning of what we have to learn. The Voyagers have shown us a frontier both beautiful and perilous. Voyager's discovery of a persistent plasma hum provided a new tool to probe the interstellar void. The pitch of this hum is directly related to plasma density, and it's rising as Voyager travels farther. The density of space is increasing, suggesting our solar system is moving through a denser region of the galaxy. This challenges our models which assumed a more uniform distribution of matter. A denser interstellar medium means more pressure on our heliosphere, shrinking our protective bubble. More cosmic rays could penetrate the inner solar system, affecting satellites and possibly even Earth's climate. For future interstellar travel, a denser medium means more drag, requiring more energy to maintain speed. The empty space between stars is not so empty after all, it has structure and character we're only now beginning to map. Voyager's data forces us to reconsider the future of space exploration. The galaxy is lumpier, more complex and more dynamic than we imagined. We are sailing into a denser, cosmic fog, and the effects are only beginning to be understood. The strange data from the edge of our solar system leaves us with profound questions. Are we seeing echoes of ancient cosmic events, or are these features a constant aspect of star system boundaries? The hydrogen wall and increasing plasma density are pieces of a puzzle we've just started to assemble. One view, these are natural consequences of plasma physics, turbulent collisions between solar wind and interstellar medium, Another, more speculative idea. Could these boundaries be markers or even warnings from advanced civilizations? There's no evidence, but Voyager's findings encourage us to keep an open mind. Ultimately, Voyager's message is one of humility. Our theories are incomplete and direct exploration is irreplaceable. The universe is more complex and surprising than we imagined. Whether echoes of creation or something else, these discoveries call us to continue exploring. The universe is speaking. We must learn to listen. The Voyager probes are fading, their power dwindling, their signals soon to cease. They will become silent ghosts, carrying their golden records through the Milky Way for millions of years. Their mission has rewritten our textbooks and opened a new chapter in our understanding of the cosmos. The discoveries at the Heliopause demand further investigation. We need new missions, with new instruments, to follow in Voyager's footsteps. An interstellar probe mission is already being conceptualized, one that could travel faster and farther than Voyager. The legacy of Voyager is not just in data but in inspiration. We are a species of explorers always looking to the horizon. Today, that horizon is the edge of our solar system. The challenges are immense but the drive to know is fundamental to who we are. The final messages from Voyager are not an end, they are a beginning. They call the next generation to action, to venture into the unknown. As the silence of the voyagers becomes permanent we are left with a question, where will humanity go next?